don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the BK Cop360 here and apparently at CES in January next year we're going to be seeing the GTX 1080 Ti baby. Now of course keep in mind of the date guys the 29th of September 2016 you might be asking well Cobbs what does that mean what does that mean it means that we have not received official specifications for this GPU which I'm about to talk about from Nvidia just yet it means that what I'm about to say could be wrong we might not actually be seeing what I'm about to say um, come to life come to reality it might be a little bit different but of course these leaks this particular leak from WCCF Tech most of them end up being true at the end of the day so let's just dive right into it now of course boys the 1080 Ti unsurprisingly Nvidia is going to be releasing one just like they released the 980 Ti just like they released the 780 Ti and of course you're doing it after the release of the Titan card now this is just vintage Nvidia man um, very interesting to see. This card is probably going to outperform the GTX Titan X Pascal Edition. Once again, let's get back into this whole GTX Titan X uh, debacle. So stupid that Nvidia decided to make two GTX Titan Xs. It's going to piss the hell out of me off in this video. So I'm going to be saying like Titan X P to like try and differentiate it and blah, 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 blah. But, oh boy, I'm not even going to get into that. But getting back to the point, the GTX 1080 Ti... It's going to be based on GP102. Everyone knows GP102. Um, it is what is based or is what is used in the GTX Titan XP. And it is also used in one of the Tesla cards, I believe. Now, this is not going to actually be the full fat 3840 CUDA core version of GP102. In fact, this is going to have eight SMs disabled. That's actually uh, more SMs disabled than what we saw on uh, the GTX Hynex Pascal, giving this card, the 1080 Ti, um, 3,328 CUDA cores versus the 3,584 on the Titan X Pascal. Now, you guys might be asking, well, Cobbs, doesn't that mean the Titan X Pascal is probably going to outperform uh, the GTX 1080 Ti? Well, it kind of depends. Um, I'm sure like this discrepancy in CUDA core count is going to be made up through clock speeds, and that is exactly what this article seems to also believe. Um, this card is going to be clocked at 1500 megahertz core, 1600 megahertz boost, and of course, we're not just going to be seeing the shitty like blower style coolers from Nvidia. Like this is the TI card. We're going to be seeing MSI, EVGA, ASUS, and whatnot come out with the you know the Strix models, the Lightnings, and whatnot, which will be overclocked, and they will. Definitely, 100%, I can guarantee you guys outperform the Titan X's. Titan X Pascal Edition, sorry. 100%, don't even worry about it. Like, if you're worried, like, oh, this isn't going to perform that well, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you're looking at this card versus the Titan X Pascal, this card will almost definitely outperform the Titan X Pascal. I can guarantee you guys that. Now, of course, it's going to have 10.8 teraflops of compute performance, FP32 compute performance uh, versus the 11 on the GTX Sign X Pascal. Once again, this is a whole clock speed thing. Um, this is the case of like, take a look. Teraflops isn't actually everything. And at the end of the day, um, the clock speed is really what's gonna help this card um, leap over. Uh, the GTX Titan X Pascal. Now, I'm not saying this card is going to demolish the Titan X Pascal because that is not going to happen. It's going to be within 5 to 10%, if you get what I mean. Either way, like just take a look at the past the 980 Ti versus the OG Titan X, 780 Ti versus the Titan. Like, you guys know where I'm coming from. Um, it'll be within the same kind of range of performance, uh, which should be good to see, I guess. Now, of course, this card will have. 12 gigabytes of GDDR5X memory. Yes, GDDR5X. For some strange reason, some people thought this card was going to only have GDDR5, which would make no sense because the GTX 1080 on GP104, the smaller chip um, and the less expensive chip, has GDDR5X. Why would Nvidia make people downgrade to GDDR5? Now, of course, memory like isn't the most important thing in the world, but like. You know what I mean. It's a more expensive product. Why should they have uh, less expensive parts or components, if that makes sense? It's just illogical. Continuing on, it's going to have a 384-bit memory bus and it will have 480 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth, which is very, very good. I believe that's exactly the same as what's on the Titan X 
Pascal edition. Now, guys, essentially, what I'm the most curious about is the why or what is happening with full fat JP102. Are we ever going to see a consumer grade version of the 3840 cuticle version of JP102? Like, we're not seeing it here. Like, I doubt Nvidia is going to do that here. So, I really don't know. Maybe it's just going to be reserved for the Teslas. Maybe Nvidia just can't get good enough yields to be able to do that this time around. I'm like, let's go back in history. GK110. The, don't forget guys, we had the 780, the 780 Ti, um, the Titan and the Titan Black, all based on Kepler. Now the Titan, I believe, was a cut down GK110, uh, and so was obviously the 780 and 780 Ti. Maybe the 780 Ti was a full version of it, I'm not 100% sure, but the original Titan definitely wasn't. But the Titan Black was the full fat card. Like we did see it roll over into the, the, the consumer area, if you want to really call a um, thousand dollars the consumer area. But you guys get what I mean. It wasn't just reserved for the Teslas, but here, like, I don't know. This is the TI card, and we've already seen the Titan X. Are we going to be seeing a uh, fucking Titan X Pascal Black or some shit? Are we going to be seeing another Titan card? based on Pascal before we see like Volta drop like what's gonna happen here I really don't know guys but I don't know like this card is allegedly of course going back to the 1080 it's supposed to be launching at CES I'm not sure if launch means release probably just means like an unveiling I'm sure the specs like what I'm saying right now isn't gonna be 100% spot on so it's gonna be a little different but anyway, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes up against what AMD or whatever AMD drops next year. I mean, we're still waiting for Vega, man. We've been waiting for a very, very long time. And it really needs to deliver because NVIDIA has just been pumping out graphics cards. Or not, not, not necessarily. They've been pumping out high-end graphics cards and taking that high-end market while AMD is kind of like... Not, they've just been like chilling, waiting. Like they keep saying, let's let's get Vega. We'll get them a Vega. But like, I don't know. I hope Vega is good. I really, really do. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, is Nvidia gonna deliver big time with this card? Who knows.